Have you ever gotten lost in Lightning Classic? Well, neither has anyone else. Welcome to the Visual Center, I'm Trent. And in today's post-production tips, we're continuing our look into Lightroom Classic. Today, we're gonna to look at the layout of the software. If you have a second, be sure to like this video. Again, this will really help the Visual Center to grow. Thank you. All right, since my last few videos went over the process of importing our images into the software, today, let's take a look at the software layout. Go ahead and open up Lightroom Classic. Now, let's take a look at my screen. This is what Lightroom Classic looks like. Now in the top left hand corner, you'll probably see your name and the words Adobe Lightroom Classic. If I move along that top bar to the right, you'll see the different modules I can navigate to within Lightroom Classic. Now to start, we're here on the library module. In the library module, we're gonna view and organize our images. Next, we have the develop module. This is where we're gonna edit our images. Now library and develop is where we're gonna spend a majority of our time. The next module is the map module. If your images contain GPS data, this is where you can view the capture location on a world map. The next module is book. This is where you can create a layout to print your images in a book. The next module is slideshow. This is where you can create the layout of a slideshow to either present here within Lightroom Classic or to export as a PDF or video. The next module is the print module. This is where you're going to lay out your images for printing on a printer. Last, you have the web module. This is where you can create a web gallery of your imagery. You can actually preview it in a browser here. You can export or upload. The last option in the top right corner is an icon of a cloud. If I click on it, I can see the amount of storage I've used in my Adobe Cloud subscription. Let's click back on the library module. Now, hopefully you notice that on the left panel and the right panel, the options change depending on which module I was in. This is how you're going to choose different options and settings in each module. Now, if you look closely, you can also notice here at the top, the left, and at the right, and even at the bottom, a small triangle at the edge of each panel. This just allows you to hide that panel. So if I click here on this right-hand panel, that panel is now hidden. If I click on the top little triangle, that top panel is now hidden. Now, if I hover on my left or right side panel, that panel will show up in order for me to select some options. Now, as soon as I go off of it, it's going to rehide. If I click on that triangle, it will bring and anchor that panel in place. Same with the top, the bottom, and the left-hand side. Now, if you are using a Mac and you have a hidden dock, this bottom triangle can be somewhat difficult to reach. If you notice, oh, there you go. Oh, see, look, my dock showed up. So I usually don't use these options to hide my panels. Let me give you a few keystrokes you can use to more easily view your images within Lightroom Classic. So instead of using these triangles here on the sides of the panels, if I press my tab key on my keyboard, it will automatically hide my left and right panel. Just turn it off and on as much as I want. Now if I hold down shift and hit tab, it also hides the top and bottom panels. This is great for when I'm using, let's say, a 13 inch screen on a laptop. If I want to see my images much larger than they are here, I just press shift tab and I can see a much larger image. There's also a few other options. If I press shift tab, all I see is a larger image and my panels disappear. But if I actually press the L key, it actually initiates something called the lights out mode. So there's three options here. So the first option is just viewing the image normally. And then I can view a faded background and then I can see a lights out or a black background. Now, no matter whether I have those panels hidden or not, I can still use this lights out module. So let's see here. So my panels are back. If I hit the L key, you can see that it just blacks out those panels, okay? So the L key is a great way to view your images without other distractions on the screen. Now, one of my favorite modes is when you use full screen mode. If I press the letter F, this creates a full screen preview of my image. Now notice the panels are gone, the background is blacked out, and also my image got as big as it can on the screen. So that's just the letter F. All right, hopefully that helped you understand a little bit of the layout of Lightroom Classic and also great keystrokes to help you view your images while you're editing. Be sure to subscribe so you can follow along as we continue our look at Lightroom Classic and other software. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.